Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to take a look at NWJS, also known as Node WebKit. And I stumbled across this a few weeks ago when I've been playing with it ever since, and I figured I'd make a video on it. So basically it allows us to create native desktop applications using web technologies. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can use front end frameworks like React, Vue.js. So you can take your web apps and you can turn them into desktop apps. It's actually very similar to Electron. So there's uh, a few different ways you can do this. You can download the SDK directly, which is a little bit complicated. So what we're going to do is use the NW SDK NPM module. So we're going to install it as a node module along with something called NW Builder that will allow us to actually build our app out for production. So instead of building something from scratch, I'm going to take an existing vanilla JavaScript app, which is this breakout game. It's actually part of my new vanilla web projects course that I just released on Udemy and turn this into a desktop app because right now it's, it's just a you know, vanilla JavaScript app. I have the repository right here. It's basically just three files, my HTML, JavaScript and CSS. And what we'll do is we'll set up NW, we'll get our file structure going and then we'll just kind of take the code from here and bring it over. All right, so let's just go ahead and minimize this and jump into VS Code. And I just have an empty folder called Breakout. And from here, we're going to npm init y, which is just going to create a package.json file for us. And then we need to install two things here at the root level. So we're going to say npm install. We want the NW package and I'm actually going to attach the version here. So at 0.44.1 SDK. And then we also want something called NW builder. And we want to install these as dev dependencies. So I'm going to do dash uppercase D. Okay, so we'll run that and that should install both of those dependencies. Okay, so now that these are installed, you can see right here, they're installed as dev dependencies. We need a couple scripts in order to run our project and in order to build it out. So we don't need this test. I'm going to replace this with dev. And I just want this to run our app. So Let's get rid of this and we're just going to run NW and then whatever the, the folder is where our source code is. So we're going to call it source SRC. So that should just run the project. And then when we're ready to build it, so we'll call this prod for production. We want to run NW build and then we can specify a flag of platforms with the different platforms we actually want to build for. So I'm going to basically build for everything Win 32 Win 64 bit. So that's Windows OS X 64. So Mac Linux 32 and Linux 64. So it should create separate folders for all of these different platforms. Then we just need to add a flag of build dir. So our build directory, which is going to be called dist. And then we just need to put our source directory here. So just dis slash and then source slash. So that should be it for this file. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then we need to create our source folder, which is where all of our app code will go. And we're actually going to need um, uh, a, a pa package .json in this folder as well. So let's CD into source and let's run NPM uh, NPM init. We'll use just use dash y and then let's go into that and from here I'm gonna let's see this main right here actually has to be connected to our main HTML file that we're going to run which is going to be in a folder called views so here I'm going to put views slash main dot HTML so that's basically our, our entry screen or entry file and then There's a whole bunch of properties we can add for window. Okay, so things like the height and the width, if we want the toolbar, uh, all kinds of stuff. I actually have a documentation page here. So this is the manifest format and you can see here we have our window object with title, icon, toolbar, the height, the width, position, all the values are down here. Uh, let's see. So right here, Windows subfields, you have title, toolbar, resi if you want it to be resizable or not, always on top, full screen. So you can choose all these different options for your desktop app. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple things here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to have a title 
of breakout and we're going to set an icon which I don't have yet but we'll get one so let's we'll have a folder called assets which we haven't created yet and then icon.png uh, let's see we're going to set the I think the toolbar is there by default but we'll set that to true anyway and then the width and the height so I'm going to do a uh, thousand width and a thousand height. Now, one thing I noticed is when I actually first first created this on a Windows machine and just having width and height was enough. But when I ran it on the Mac, it didn't work. It was still smaller. So I had to add a min and a max width and height. So what I'm going to do is just copy this down twice and we're going to have a min width, a min height and max width and a max height. All right, and then I think I think that's all we need. Actually, let's add a position. So the position is just where it's going to open and you have a you have options of null, center, so it opens on the center and then mouse, so it will just open where your mouse is. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and save this. And I don't think we need to do anything else here. So we'll close that up and let's create the rest of our structure here. So in the source folder, I'm going to create an assets folder. That's where you would put your icon and the images, stuff like that. We're going to have a views folder, which is where your HTML would go. We'll have a styles folder for CSS. And then let's have a folder called app, which is where our actual JavaScript will go. So in app, we're going to have a file called index.js. In views, we're going to have a main.html, which is basically our home screen. And in styles, we're going to have a style.css. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the code for this, it, we're just going to grab it from that repository for the breakout game. And of course, you could use any anything you want, any of your own applications they can be vanilla javascript you can use react or view or angular so i'm going to grab the html first and you guys can you know follow along if you want paste that in <coughs> excuse me and it's not a lot because this is actually a canvas app so most of it, it most of the code is obviously in the javascript we're using the canvas api and nw uses the chromium engine so of course we can use the canvas api video audio anything really that you can use in the browser now the style sheet this is wrong we want this to go to uh, let's see we want to go up one level to styles because remember we're in the views folder and then slash style css and then for the javascript it's going to be up one level into app and then index js okay and we'll save that close that up and now let's grab the we'll grab the CSS. Okay, so we're just going to copy this stuff here. Put that right in there. Uh, it's the wrong file. We want it, of course, in the CSS file. And then for the JavaScript, let's go into script JS and grab all that. And as you can see, it's just pure vanilla JavaScript. You know, we're dealing with the DOM. We have event listeners and so on. And we're going to put that in our main index.js file here. Okay, so just doing that, we should be able to run our application. So I'm going to go down here. We want to be outside of the source folder. We want to be in the root because that's where we have the package.json that has the dev and the, and the prod script here. So let's go ahead and run our app with npm run dev. And there we go. So you can see we're actually running this plain old HTML, CSS, JavaScript application as a desktop app. Okay, everything works fine. If we go up here, show rules. Okay, we have a nice little toolbar here and you guys can't see my my um, menu bar, but I have that up here as well. All right, so we can close that up now. If you want to actually build it out into 
an executable, we should be able to run npm run prod. And this is going to build out to a dist folder and it's going to build out for Windows, Mac and Linux. And this does take a while. It, should, it takes like 60 seconds or so. So I'm going to pause the video and when it's done, I'll be back. All right, so so far so good. You can see now we have a dist folder and if we look in here, we have a folder for each platform. So what I'm going to do is open this in my finder. And inside dist, there's a, a source folder and that has all these folders here. So let's go into OSX 64 since I'm on a Mac and we should be able to just open this source. Now, I think this is called source Yeah, you know what? We probably should have called this breakout in the package.json right here. Uh but that's fine. We'll go ahead and just just keep it how it is. But let's try to open this up. And yep, it should just open up the application. I even if I just rename this, let's try to just uh rename this to breakout. Okay, that should still work. And if we take this and copy it and put it on the desktop. Which let me just bring it over. And double click that. And opens up our game. All right, so we now have an executable. We have this desktop app. And of course, you could do this with any basically any web app. So pretty cool. And of course there's ways to change this icon and stuff. This is basically just an intro just to to show you guys how to get this set up. And I mean if I were to build a production desktop app, I'd probably use Electron over NWJS just because I know it more and uh it's it's obviously more popular, but this is pretty cool if you want to build some small tools for yourself or or for a client or something like that. Uh but that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and you'll use this at some point and thanks for watching. So if you guys like the breakout game and you want to build that from scratch, check out my 20 web projects with vanilla JavaScript course on Udemy. I'll have a link in the description along with a coupon code and we build things like custom video players, music players, hangman game, meal finder, expense trackers and the list goes on. I'll also be adding more projects to it in the future. So if you're interested, check it out. I'll have a coupon for at, at the most 13.99 in the description.